Hey everyone, Scott here with Forever Armed. Uh, today I wanted to talk about shooting fundamentals. Shooting fundamentals can be broken down into two main categories. Uh, one being uh, sights and the other being trigger. Uh, some people think that things such as proper grip or proper stance are also fundamentals and they are not. Those are techniques that are part of the delivery system. They assist you in getting your bullet accurately downrange, but they are not required fundamentals. The required fundamentals to get your bullet accurately downrange are going to be sights and trigger. And those two things can be broken down into four subcategories. Sight alignment, sight pitcher, trigger manipulation, and follow through. So let's first take a look at a couple of different sight systems. Uh, the most popular is going to be a notch and post sight. So I've got a cert training pistol here that have notch and post sights just so you can take a look. So you've got a rear sight here with a notch in the center and then you've got the front sight which is just a post okay this is going to be the most common type of, of sights you're going to see on a pistol uh, next what I wanted to show you are the sights that I use on my on my pistol on my Glock 19 these are called uh, XS big dot sights so you've got kind of a V-shaped rear sight there and you've got if you can see that a, a big white dot in, in the front for the front sight uh, these are the these are the type of sights I recommend on any pistol that you're using to fight with or for self defense. These are considered fighting or self defense type sights, and they're also made out of metal, so you can use you can use them to you know rack your slide off of a belt or or, or anything else if you're you know doing one handed uh, manipulations and such, which I'll make a video on uh, here in the future. So those are the two main uh, sight systems I'm going to talk about in this video. Uh, there's many different sight systems out there, but uh, the things I'm going to be talking about will apply to all of them. And also, this is geared around pistols, this video, but these fundamentals apply to shotguns and rifles as well. So uh, now let's take a look at what uh, proper sight alignment should look like. Okay, so here we have an image of proper sight alignment with a notch and post sight system. As you can see here in the picture, the front sight and the rear sight are even across the top, nice and level and there is an equal amount of distance or light on each side of the front sight when looking through the notch of the rear sight. So that's what proper sight alignment should look like on a standard notch and post sight system. On some of these notch and post sight systems there may be a white dot on the front sight and one on each side of the rear sight and some people use those three dots to get sight alignment uh, you, you're, you can get a rough sight alignment doing that, but I, I don't really recommend you do that. I recommend you, you know, line your, your sights up even across the top and with an equal amount of uh, distance or light on each side of your front sight when looking through the rear notch. So that's what uh, proper sight alignment will look like on your standard notch and post sights. Okay, now let's take a look at excess big dot sights, which are the sights I use on my pistol. Uh, here, as you can see in the picture, the full circle of the dot front sight is visible and centered over the shallow V and vertical bar of the rear sight. At close range, the point of impact is going to be within the dot. So you, you put the dot on the, on the target and that's where your bullet's going to go. At extended ranges of 25 yards and out, the point of impact is going to be the top of the dot. So as you can see in those pictures at the, toward the bottom there, at close range, the dot is going to be placed right on the target. At extended ranges of 25 yards and out, it's going to be the top of the dot or front sight that is going to be your point of impact. Okay, so there were some examples of proper sight alignment with uh, your standard notch and post sights and also with uh, excess big dot sights. Like I said before, there are a number of different sighting systems out there. If you've got some weird uh, sights that you can't figure out how to properly align, uh, just consult your manufacturer on those. Uh, let's talk about sight picture now. Sight picture is going to be you taking your eye, lining it up with your rear sight, which is then lined up with your front sight, and then lining that up with your target. So those four things need to be in alignment for proper sight picture. Once you've acquired your sight picture, you then want to take your focus off the target and put it on your front sight. Okay. Uh, the human eye can only focus on one distance at a time, so once you've got your proper sight alignment set up, 
you want to back that focus off the target and put it on the front sight. And when I say focus on the front sight, I don't mean just visually, but also mentally as well. So you, you're really going to be just concentrating on that front sight, okay? And I'll get into more details on that front sight focus uh, later on in the video when we talk about follow through. So that's going to be what sight picture is, looks like. And here is a picture now or an image of, of what uh, sight picture should look like. Okay, so as you can see here in this image, this is what proper sight picture should look like. As you can see in this image, the front sight is, fo is in focus. The target and rear sight are slightly blurry. That is what proper sight picture should look like. Okay, so now let's talk about trigger manipulation. Improper trigger manipulation is typically the number one cause for missed shots. A lot of times if you've got a, a right-handed shooter, they're going to shoot low left, or if it's a left-handed shooter, you'll see them shooting low right, and that's typically due to improper trigger manipulation. Uh, one of the things that causes improper trigger manipulation is the human's natural fear of loud noises. Uh, one, thing, one way to overcome that is through training and practice what you've trained. Uh, what, what can happen with a newer shooter is instead of letting the gun go bang after when they press the trigger they they try to make it go bang and when they try to make it go bang they're jerking the trigger and which jerks the gun and makes them shoot low left for instance or maybe even miss the target entirely so let's take a look now at the step by step process of pressing the trigger so i'm going to use my i'm going to use my Glock 19 for that we'll go ahead and unload this and if you're wondering how to unload a semi automatic pistol uh, you can check out a previous video of mine on that. So, once you've got your sights on target and you're, you've made the decision to shoot, you're going to put your finger on the trigger. That's the first step, is touching the trigger. Then as you're pressing the trigger back, you're going to have a biological slack that is compressed in your finger, the meaty part of your finger. And as you continue to press it back, there's the mechanical slack in the trigger itself that is compressed back. As you keep going, as you keep going, okay, that's the press break. That's when the gun's going to go bang. Uh, in some pistols, there's uh, going to be over travel in the trigger, meaning after it goes bang, the trigger is still able to go back more. That's the over travel. On uh, my Glock, there is no over travel. Once you hit press break, the trigger is all the way back. Okay. Next, the gun's going to cycle. Okay, and then you're going to bring the trigger forward. It'll reset. You continue to bring it forward all the way and then take your finger out the trigger. Okay, so those are the steps of the trigger press. Now, there are two types of trigger press that I talk about. One is called constant contact, which means you're going to just put your finger on the trigger. You're going to press it back. Get the press brake. So the gun's going to cycle. And you're going to bring the trigger all the way forward, all the way forward, and keep your finger on the trigger, and then do another uh, trigger press on your next shot. Okay, that's called the constant contact method. Uh, the method I prefer to use, and what I tr I teach people, is called trigger reset. So you get your sights on target, you put your finger on the trigger, you press it back, you get your press break, the gun cycles. And now you're only going to bring the trigger forward just enough until it resets. You can hear it and feel it reset. Now your trigger is prepped for your next shot. Okay? This greatly assists in, in getting more accurate shots. Your follow-up shots will be more accurate doing trigger repress than or trigger reset than uh, constant contact. So with my trigger already prepped, if I want to make follow-up shots, I can just bring the trigger back press break and now the gun will cycle and I just keep doing that if I need to make more follow-up shots I just bring the trigger forward until it resets and I can make my next shot okay so that's what trigger resets gonna look like okay one last thing I want to talk about with trigger manipulation is pressing the trigger straight back this is a very important thing as well uh, when you're at the range um, think about pressing the trigger straight back so let's say this is a trigger and here's my trigger finger I don't want to push the trigger this way as I'm bringing it back, and I don't want to push it this way as I'm pressing the trigger back. I want it to just come straight back, okay? Straight back. So 
when you're out the range and you're out there getting ready to shoot and got your finger on the trigger, think about that in your mind. I'm going to press the trigger straight back. Okay, it'll help a lot. So while you're focusing on the front sight, also be concentrating on pressing that trigger straight back. If you pull the trigger to one side or the other instead of straight back, you're you're going to jerk the gun one way or the other and you're you're gonna have a missed shot. So that's another thing to concentrate on is pressing that trigger straight back. Okay? Okay, so now let's talk about uh, follow through. What is follow through? Follow through basically says that you are not finished with the current shot that you are shooting until you are ready to make your next shot. So what does that mean? What that means is you've got your sights aligned, you've got your proper sight picture, you've made a decision to shoot, you've got your eyes focused on the front sight, your fingers on the trigger, you press the trigger. Now your focus should remain on the front sight during the entire evolution of, your, of that shot. So before you make the shot, you should be focused on the front sight. During the shot, you should be focused on the front sight. And after the shot, you should be focused on your front sight. So what that's going to look like, let me grab my, my cert training pistol here. So let's say you've got your, your, you've got your sight lined up, you made a decision to shoot. You go to press the trigger and the gun recoils and it kind of moves out of the way, let's say. That's because you didn't keep your focus on the front sight the entire time. Your gun goes up, oh look at now I can see where my shots are. That's not how it should be. If you're focused on the front sight before, during, and after the shot, and you made an accurate shot, you'll not you shouldn't even be able to see where that bullet went, okay? Because your your sights are gonna be in the way. Okay? That is proper follow-through. Not only is that proper, it also sets you up for the next shot. So it's, it's tactically sound as well, because it, it preps you for your next shot. Your, your gun is out and your sight, sights are already on target for your next shot. So that is basically what follow through is. Uh, once you stop worrying about where your bullets are going, they'll just go there, okay, if you have proper follow through. Okay, so that is it for shooting fundamentals. Uh, please like and share this video and please subscribe to my channel. Once again, this is Scott with Forever Armed, reminding you to be ready for the moment. You must train for the moment.